In this video, we're going to walk through how to create a blog using Google Sites. So we're going to go to sites.google.com slash new to get to the Google Sites dashboard. Um, make sure that you're logged in with your school Google account. To create our site, we're going to click on the plus button in the bottom corner. And it opens us up to our new site. So if we click in the upper left hand, we can create a name and that will appear on your screen. All right, the right hand side is your editing screen. So we have insert, pages, and themes. So you may wanna start by creating a theme for your blog. If you click on the options, you can also select a color scheme. And if you don't like the colors that are there, clicking on the paint bucket, you can kind of choose from a range of colors. It also allows you to pick font style. It gives you a couple of options. And you can kind of check them out. If you don't like it, you can always change it. And then hopefully you find something you like. Along with your banner, you can change the header type. So you can have a large banner, a regular size banner, or just the title. And you can also change the image. So you can select an image or a color from the ones that they have provided. You can search for one or upload one yourself. Go with this one. All right. Usually you're starting out with your homepage or giving your blog a title. And then on that page, you can add anything by kind of clicking on this right-hand side. So you can add a text box. Changing the sides of the text, you can go title, heading, subheading, or just normal body text. So we're going to give it a title. Okay, And you can center it or kind of align it whichever way. You can add links. You can link to a website, or if you have additional pages, you can link internally. If you want to change the size of the text box, just kind of click and drag. You can change the size of it. If we add some additional things, so we're going to add some images here. So if you're connected to your Google Drive, you can find images there. You can change the size of your images. And you can move your images around. Okay. If you have something that you want to embed or upload, you can add dividers, materials from your Google Drive. If you're adding something from your drive, make sure that the sharing settings are on. So we're going to insert this document. And you can change the size so you can see like the whole document or just part of the document. Uh, we're going to go and launch that to make sure the sharing settings are set. So when we go to share, we have to make sure that the shareable link is green. This one's set up so that only people at District 127 can view it, but we want to maybe change that so anyone can view it. So if you have people outside of District 127 looking at your blog and you want them to see that item, Make sure that it's on with anyone with the link can see it or on public on the web. And then save. And you'll have to do that for each item from your drive that you're adding to your blog or website. You can embed videos from YouTube, just having the URL, or you can upload uh, videos and add those. Just select one. And again, being able to resize the video if you need to. Once you have some components in there, if you want to move them around, just kind of click on the box where these little dots are, and you can move around where they belong. So once you have your homepage set, you may want to have some additional pages from your homepage. 
So you can create a whole nother page if you want at the same level. Maybe we're gonna make an about page. Clicking on this plus button in the bottom creates a new page. And then you can go ahead and edit that as you need to. And then now on the navigation screen at the top, we see that our home screen, we can go back to that. Or we can go back to our new page, this about me page. You can also change it to be side navigation so that on the side here, it pops up with all of your pages. So we're going to leave it at the top for now. When I go to create a blog post, I'm going to click on these three dots and I'm going to add it as a sub page. And that will nest that page underneath my home page. So now when we look at the navigation, we see home and in the drop down blog post one, and we can keep adding sub pages to that home page. If we want to go back to our home screen, and we have our home page here on the navigation, but maybe we also want to reference it on our main page, we can add a text box. And if we highlight that and click on the link, we can internally link to blog post one page, and now people can navigate from the page itself. If you want to rearrange your pages, you just kind of click and drag them. So if we want to nest our about page into our home page, you can do that. Or you can unnest something by pulling it out. When you're all set with your work, we're going to want to publish. So when you click publish, you're going to give it a web address. It'll always start sites.google.com slash d127.org and then the title of your blog and then clicking publish. Now, right now the privacy is set for anyone at d127.org to see it. If you want to change it so that anyone can see it, click on this and we can change so that anyone can find and view the published version. This is great if you want your families to be able to read your blog or friends from outside of the school district. Okay, and then when you change it, just make sure you click save and done. Okay. Once you've published it, you'll see this drop down arrow and you can view now your published site. So this is what it would look like to outside viewers without the editing screen. This is the link that you'd want to share with your teacher or your family for them to be able to view the content. If you share the editing link, it won't let them view it unless they're a collaborator. So please make sure you're sharing the published link to your site. If we go back and make changes to our site, add pictures, move things around. So we're just going to move this little guy around here. And we're going to change this to be a little different size. On our site here, we don't see the changes, so you can make changes and stuff, but if you want the changes to appear, make sure that you click publish again. When we go back to our site and we refresh it, so this is our published site, we'll see those changes reflected. If you'd like to add collaborators, you can click on the People Plus button and invite people to edit your website. If you have questions about how to do something, don't be afraid to visit the help site. Good luck with your blog. If you need anything, please email me at spiggott at d127.org and I'll try to get back to you as quickly as possible. Good luck.